The Monticello Teacher Institute is a summer fellowship open to teachers of American history. Participants collaborate in creating original material for Monticello's Digital Classroom and Sea of Liberty websites while immersing themselves in reflection, learning, and the power of place. This is not just sitting in a library. It's not just listening to lectures. It's not just taking notes, but it's experiencing content in almost a living aspect. Traveling through different experiences that Jefferson, his families, and slave peoples would have had, learning more about the daily working life of Monticello today, because it's very much still alive, and still being able to develop and create really good instructional materials without going to just a professional development conference or seminar that's only instructional matters. And I have had the opportunity to have um, you know, day-long professional developments or, you know, weekend-long professional developments. And I've considered myself lucky because there are some, you know, really great institutions that kind of have their hands on, but I have never had the opportunity to spend a week and fully immerse myself in, in the world of an individual that I study with my students or a historical event um, in this way, where there are so many experts at your fingertips who are willing to help you with everything. As a teacher, this program was constructed in a way that inspired me to reach out and value the resources of other teachers as well. I think sometimes I operate in a vacuum and forget that there are people doing excellent things, really great things around me, and that sometimes that's just an email or a phone call away. I'm always known as being a, an energetic kind of teacher in a classroom, and um, this is only going to make that worse when I get to the Jefferson section. It's, it's really going to be hard to try to narrow it all down, but I really think the most valuable thing that I'm going to try to do is to use actual photographs that I took, audio recordings from the tours, uh, video that I took and everything. And there's no doubt that kids get that connection when you can say, oh yeah, you see this? You see this on this website? Well, it was a foot in front of me. Or when I say get an interactive text going and it talks about slavery and I say, well, click here if you want to hear what it's like to be a slave at Monticello. I, I just think for them to know that, that there's somebody in front of them and guiding them that was there and experienced it all is really going to help them. It's the institute has way um, exceeded my expectations more than I could even imagine. We've just been immersed in Thomas Jefferson this week and it's been unlike any other institute I've ever attended and, and just more understand. Just walking in his steps this week has just been amazing. Just hearing these stories and everything like that has just made him come even more alive for me and I can't wait to bring these stories back to my students. Um, I think that the teachers that will be technically graduating from this program um, this week and those that have come before us and after us can act as, as sort of Thomas Jefferson ambassadors for the program here to bring new blood, new faces to the mountain but also if they're very far away like teachers in California to be kind of a regional expert to help other teachers out with local professional development trainings. The websites are loaded with materials and there's even more on the way to be, to be supplemented. I'm particularly fond of the other ed educators with whom we've worked and I've worked over the, over the past week. They've inspired me to work with excellence. Uh, not just them, but also the people who work here at Monticello. I feel inspired to, to teach Jefferson with excellence now. 